is good YouTube, it's your boy Legendary E, and we are back here for another rebuild. If you guys missed the last one, yesterday I did do the Minnesota Timberwolves, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Now tomorrow I do want to do an NBA video, I just need some topics to actually like talk about. Like, I mean, last night's game versus the Blazers and Nuggets was pretty cool, went to, I think, four overtimes? Uh, which is pretty insane. But anyways, today we got the Washington Wizards, so if you guys enjoy it and want to see more, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Let's get 100 likes for another one. Obviously, they got John Wall, Mr. Glassman, uh, Bradley Beal, Dwight, <laughs> Dwight Howard, Bobby Portis, Jabari Parker. Yeah, this team ain't it, all right? This team really ain't it. That's why they're looking at a top six pick right now. But, I mean, other than that, we are going to stem through the playoffs because, I mean, as usual, they didn't got nothing to really do with us. Uh, but hopefully, we actually can land on a pretty good player. Uh, we're just have to see what we can actually do, but you know, hopefully by the end of this, we can bring a championship to Washington. And you know, don't sleep. We will try to trade John Wall, and we're gonna try to make a trade that makes sense. Like we're gonna try to keep this thing at least kind of realistic. It just depends on how things goes. The Warriors won the championship by no surprise, but yeah, man, John Wall's contract—it's just not good. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. It's just not good. So let's see where we actually land. Wow, we we get the seventh pick instead. Way to make it better. All right, we're going to keep Scott Brooks. I just want a new trainer, to be honest, because we are going to try to get some young guys. And, I mean, I, I want to keep Bradley Beal because I think he's really, really good. But if we had to, to get more assets, I I'm down to trade him as well. Because I know that John Wall at this point, man, is pretty much untradeable. What? I know that nobody would. Sorry, somebody would take that contract, but not this one. All right, well. Who do they got us getting in the draft anyways? Nikhil Alexander-Walker. Um, nah. I'm not, I'm not trying to get another guard, to be honest. Like, getting another guard for us would legit be pointless. Like, so let's see what we can actually do here. Let's send straight to our pick. And what's it looking like? Who's there? Kobe White, Darius Garland. See, it's a bunch of guards. I could get DeAndre Hunter, but I've gotten him, like, too many times. Um, she who's already been drafted? RJ went to the freaking Celtics. <sighs> All right, uh, this is what we can do. Throw this pick on the block, and let's see what it's looking like. Zach Levine. This is so unrealistic. I'm I'm not gonna do it because it's so unrealistic. That all that for Zion. There's no way that they do that. All right, who's here? Honestly, I might just trade down. <laughs> like, to be honest, at least we get a first-round pick. <laughs> like, that might be the best move for us. And that's from the Pelicans, right? Yeah, I'm down. We can just trade down. They say Kobe White. All right, good for them. Good for them. And... I mean, I'm down, I'm down to do it again, too. Jackson Hayes, he was the fifth pick. Blake, that's an L. That's no. I think this isn't all right. This is kind of a bad trade. Let me see. We'll give them next year's pick. Top five protected. They would keep that. They would have to take that. All right, we get R.J. Barrett instead, that, which is way better than whoever we were about to draft. All right, that's actually not that bad. And who do they even take? You can actually see that. Who do they even, like, pick up with that pick? Oh, they got Garland. All right, that's actually, like, that was better. They, they got a bunch of shooting guards. All right, so maybe it worked out for them. At least now we got a small forward. And... Yeah, all these guys can walk. Yeah, we can re restrict them. All right, we, we got no money. I, I already know it. So, Boogie. Uh, all right, we, we obviously can't, can't get Boogie without trading Mahini. And I don't know who would take his contract without us giving up a, a pick, which is probably what we're going to have to do. Um, What's a, what's a bad team? I mean, he's not the worst player ever. All right, let me see something. 
Raptors, Warriors, Jazz. He has no offers. I mean, we can just trade him to a team that's ready to absorb cap room. So, like, the Knicks or something. And we can throw them. That's the only way that they would do this. So, fine. All right. And with that being said, we're going after DeMarcus Cousins. <laughs> because that would help us a lot. All right. I'm down to do that for Boogie. Can you get Boogie? Vucevic? Either one of them is cool with me. All right. I guess we're going with Boogie. And then as far as who our starting power forward is going to be next season, I don't even know. Let's freaking go. All right. And we can still get Bobby Portis. That, that's what I'm talking about. Or did we renounce Portis? I don't even know. Whatever. I mean, we got Boogie, so that's all that really matters. Let's see if Portis is still there, though. I mean, if that's what it takes. I mean, we got four dudes on the roster right now, but this is like our starting lineup because of John Wall's contract. It is it's such a bad contract. Like, oh my goodness. It is such a bad contract. But for next year's, I mean, lineup, it's going to have to be Wheel. It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to have to be Beal and Wall and then Barry. And then we just need a power forward. And then we can just fill out the bench with whoever's left. Miritic. All right, we, we can possibly get Miritic. Get Jabari. All right, we get Miritic. Jabari went back to the Bucks. All right. All right. At least now we got our starting lineup. So next lineup is going to be John Wall, Beal, Barrett, Miritic, and Cousins. All we need is a backup for each of those spots. Let's see who we can possibly get, though. It's, it's going to be hard to find one. I already know that. Dang. All right, shooting guards. Not that bad. It's going to be a long rebuild. I don't really want Al Jefferson like that. I know that we can't get cancer. It would it, have been, been nice if we could, though. Honestly, I know that we're going to have another bad season. It's a pretty good thing that our pick with the Celtics is top five protected because things ain't looking all that good for us. But I do think that our starting lineup is a lot better. But our bench is going to be complete garbage. Like, and that's just a fact. All right, and heading into training camps, this is what we're going to do. Uh, combo guard for Barrett. Perimeter shooting for John Wall. And combo guard for Bradley Beal. There we go. And it actually went up to an 80, so I guess that helped us out as far as Barrett goes. All right, yeah, a contending. Yeah, we're not, a, we're not a contending team. The ninth best. Okay. See, this is where they start capping. This is the lineup, man. Rondo's the backup. Caspi, Decker. Ugh, the bench is the bench is trash. Like I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, the bench is not good. Like not not at all. But let's switch this. Yeah, the bench is just not good. We're running a nine man rotation. Shovel Mac will never play over Rondo. All right, but I guess let's just see how this team does. I mean, I'm I'm down to like C at least, but if we're bad again, maybe you know, um, I can pick up you know another good player, preferably a power forward. But until then, let's just see what we got. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. D'Angelo Russell. I don't think that the Nets are are, are doing that one, Chief. That that makes this makes no sense on both sides. Yeah, let's just sim to the end of this season. And at the end of season number, and at the end of season number one, the team literally went 500, 41 and 41. <laughs> Zion's rookie of the year, love is sixth man of the year, and yeah, we're still not that good of a team. Uh, Demarcus Cousins is all NBA second team, and that's all that we got. John Wall is all defensive. Second team, and we got RJ Bayer on an all rookie first, now at an 82 overall. So he was doing what he was supposed to be doing, and, and Garland was first team, so it worked out for the Celtics as well. All right, but let's see what we got, man. Where are we projected? I know that we make the playoffs. 
11th pick. Hopefully we can, you know, squeak up and actually uh, do a little bit better. As far as the stats go, though, check these out. We're led in points by Boogie. All right. I mean, I kind of expected that, but let's just see, man. I'm I'm not sure if I, if I bring back Scott Brooks, but we still got to explore trades for John Wall or Beal because we're so bad that, I don't know, like, we get dropped off as a four seed. Like, how do we make the playoffs? Like, this is why the East is so bad. Like, we, we made the playoffs with a 500 record. The Hornets and the Bulls and the Bucks make, make the playoffs with a losing record. And then we get swept. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. Like, I really don't. But, hey, we're looking at the 11th pick. Uh, hopefully, we can shoot into that top five, top ten. Well, actually, we don't even have our draft pick now because there's only top five protected. So, unless we get, like, a miracle, things are not looking good for us. We got no trade assets, which is why I'm saying trading Beal might be the move. And how did the – the what? All right, so Zion, so Zion is just that good? All right, bet. Bet, bet, bet. Let's get straight into the lottery. All right, so let's see. The twelfth pick because of New Orleans. I like that. The Celtics get our pick, which is later on. So, so Burst is gonna say, uh, everything else does not really matter. Let's get straight into the draft. Let's see who's there. Pick number twelve. If there's a steal, we're gonna take him. If not, we're gonna we're gonna try to trade this thing. Who? Yeah. Uh, nah. <laughs> Who's already gone? McDaniels, Wiseman, Stewart. Can Stewart shoot? No. Yeah, let's trade this pick. This pick and John Wall, what's it worth? Because Beal's at a 90. Yo, somebody wants Beal. Let's stop playing around here. Somebody wants Beal. Miritic. <sighs> Dang. I guess we I guess we just help our bench. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know who any of these guys are. It says that he can shoot. I'm not sure if that's a lie, though. Vernon Carey. Scotty Lewis. I don't know how, how good our scouting is. <laughs> so, like, I, I don't want to be wrong here, but let's just take him. And let's hope that he's not trash. All right, he's actually not that bad. All right, after that, since to the end, at least now we got a backup shooting guard. Yeah, let's go ahead and sign him. Nobody right there. And we're back to square one. No assets. What, what are we doing in free agency? We got no money. <laughs> All right, let's see uh, if anybody else is here. Can we, can we get him? Oh, my. Dang, they keep taking our point guards. <laughs> Shabazz. That's like the, our last hope. Who's this guy? All right. I'm trying to get Joe Harris. I'm trying to get one of these guards. Who's better? You're restricted. They're probably going to match you anyways. Oh, yeah, we can't even... Hey. We got Joe Harris, but that's the only person that we that we could possibly get. Malcolm Delaney. Each one more. Shit. The way that he's been playing, I'll even take freaking Mo Harkless. There we go. Eurepco. Look, the, our team could be way worse. <laughs> like, it could be way worse.
There we go. All right, so for this year's lineup, John Wall, Ma Malcolm Delaney. I'm not really sold on this. Shooting guard, though. Well, we're actually looking pretty good here. Small forward, got Joe Harris backing up. Power forward, eh. I still want to improve at power forward. Like, we definitely could. I can feel it. We definitely could. Come on. There we go. Yo, other than that, I'm, it's the same team as last year. So, I'm not really expecting us to improve that much. But, hey, we added Iggy. He has that championship uh, badge. So, we're going to give that to somebody. And Bear went up to an 84. So, we can use some of this to our advantage. It just depends on how well John Wall plays. Like, I, I can explore trading him all I want to. It has to be something where it benefits us, like giving us draft picks or something. But right now, like, nothing good is popping up. Like, literally, all right, look. Colin Sexton love. Why would the Cavs want to do that? The Celtics would want to do this, but why would I want to? Like, yeah, some of these trades just make no sense. Lonzo Ball and B.I., I mean, no. <laughs> like, just straight up, no. For Bradley Beal, I mean... If they offer me, like, see, this don't help us either because I'm going to need a point guard. Then they would never give me Luka Doncic, and that's still too much for him. Yeah. At this point, we just got to hope and see what this team can do. Uh, we're going to send permanent shooting to RJ Barrett. He's not at an 85. All right. Untapped potential to this dude right here. Come on. And let's also send athleticism to Mirzik <laughs> so he doesn't just get ran up on. All right. We got to cut a player. Bet. Back up center. Damn. Shit. When? When? Fuck. Uh, Myers Leonard. Come on, dog. One year. Oh, my. Shit, Rashawn Holmes. I don't get how they don't take some of these offers. Like, it makes no sense to me. Hell, Ed Davis. Cool. All right, we, we got to cut two players then. Yeah, Robert's getting cut for sure. He's out of there. Uh, I can trade... Both of y'all. Aminu. Deal. Do we still got to cut a player? I don't think so anymore. Let's go. Not bad. So for this year's lineup, at point guard, we're going to have John Wall and Jeremy Lin. At shooting guard, we're going to have Bill and our draft pick. Small forward we're looking really, really nice. Power forward, we're, we're looking all right as well. Same thing with center. All right, uh, what are they saying? Still says that we are a contending team. Last year, we're ranked ninth. This year, we're ranked fourth. Um, this is what we're going to do. Because he has to play. I mean, we didn't waste all those draft picks on him to, to just to not play. So, he can go right, right up there. He will take those 23 minutes, sir. Actually, you know what? I don't want the bench even playing like that, to be honest. All right, yeah, but he will go up and uh, take those 20, though. So give me those. Jeremy Lin's going to be playing over him. And... All right, let's just see what this team can actually do. All right. Uh, Scott Brooks, we are relying on you. You you've been to in the NBA Finals before. Shoot at will and everything else. I'm cool with. Let's just see what this team can do, and you know, hopefully, this is a year where we can make the NBA Finals and possibly win a championship. I mean, we we got the depth too. And at the end of this season, we actually win four more games than than we did last season. Uh, anything different? Everything's pretty much the exact same. Do we get any Wizards on any of the All NBA teams? Literally, no. Marcus Saul made it over Boogie. All right. 
whatever. John Wall does make all defensive first team, and we had no rooks that really like played like that. Regardless, this season we were the fifth seed. 11 games behind the 76ers. All right. Let's see something. Let's see something. Stats wise, everything's pretty much the exact same. Barrett's now at an 86, though. So maybe he can help us out later on. And let's just go through round one, man. Versus Detroit. They take game one. Oh, my gosh. This is just the perfect start, huh? Hold on. Maybe they can blow a 3 0 lead. Maybe they can blow a 3 0 lead. Or they almost can. All right, we're, we're coming back for one more season. Things are not looking good, but for this final season, I'm, I'm down to make any trade necessary. So if that means trading away John Beal, we're definitely going to do it because, yeah, I'm not trying to lose anymore. Oh, my God. And Utah wins a chip. All right, bet. Bet, bet, bet. Let's go. Eighteenth pick, all right. I need an assistant first. There we go. Head coach can be. Shit, can we get him? <laughs> like, can we actually get him? Well, we're paying him, too. In case we don't get him. Mike D'Antoni. All right, yeah, we're taking Nick Nurse. There we go. NBA draft. All right, who do they got us getting with the 18th pick? Kyrie, I, I don't want Kyrie Walker. I know that nothing's going to pop up for like John Wall. Oh, no, well, maybe I'm wrong. Jimmy Butler and Montrezl Harrell. We need a point guard. Kemba Walker. It's a little bit of a friendlier deal, but at this point, I mean, it's the last season. <laughs> They're about the same. Caruso. It's actually not that bad. Oh, Beal's a free agent. Damn. Dang, Bill's a free agent. All right. Uh, let me see something. Dang, that just screwed us. We're going to bring him back, but still. Mitchell. Luca. Oh. Dang. All right. We got to make some kind of change, though. All right. What, what can I get for Miritic and Smith? Luka Semanic. That might be it. I still like this Karis one, bro. Because then we got like a good... We got another good player coming off the bench for us. And we get a center. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right. And then we can flip Dwight Powell. Yeah, let's try that out. Tyreek Evans, Marcus Morris, then Lucas Semantics if it's still popping up. We're taking that. All right. And we're still with this draft pick. I, I really don't want this draft pick. I'm just going to be honest. I really don't want it. But it's better than nothing. So let's hop, let's hop into the drafts. And let's see if somebody good can fall our way. We just got to hope. This ain't it. Sharif O'Neal. All right, 18th pick. And Chris, what's up with that? Dang. 
Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> that, why would I not take that? All right, but let's get into rookie signings. Joshua, Christopher, welcome to the squad. Arja Bear is staying in. No matter what, we're getting back Bradley Beal. Yeah, we're not we're not playing around with that. <laughs> we actually need him back. We're gonna so we're we're signing an, another bad contract. Just just freaking great. Just great. Another bad contract. Awesome. And I think that's the only person that we can even like get. So we, we might as well just re-sign him. Mitchell Robinson. Let's go. Yo, I'm I'm happy with our team. Right now, the lineup for this season, got John Wall, Drogic, and him right there. We're stacked at shooting guard. I see. How we at small forward, though? Could be a little bit better. Our right, Karras, play that small forward position. He goes up. Shooting guard, we are stacked. Joshua C Christopher and this guy right here. And let me see something, though. What do they go at? Let me see something. Let me go down one. Go down. Shit. Thank you. Back up. Point guard. Can you, like, pass? Because if you can pass, this would actually be perfect. All right, he can kind of pass. I don't mind it. I don't mind this at all. I'll probably have him starting over both of them because he's just a better he's just a better threat. He's 6'5. Alright, John Wall and him. Shooting guard, Beal and Christopher. Small forward lit. We're lit at every single position. We can win this thing. Lucas Semantic. He's he's the only weakling that we actually got in. We can do this. Drogic. Drogic that in that. If we can find a power forward, we're going to be set. Like a good one. Like a really good one. The Olenek, hell no. Gallinari? That's probably our best bet. I don't like it, but that's that's probably our best bet. This is our best bet, and it's kind of sad. <laughs> it's kind of sad. All right. Uh, shit, y'all y'all gonna give us like something back, bruh? What? That's not worth Danello Gallinari. All right. What do you guys think is worth? Danello, then let let me know. Beal, <laughs> man, what are you guys on? This is a lot for Gallinari, bro. Like for like this, this is a lot. All right, we go ahead and we make that trade. We overpaid for him, but I think they were going to be just fine. Um, veterans. Dwayne Wade is still in the league. We ain't signing him, though. Uh, let's see. All right, there's really, like, nobody here who can give us anything that we really need. We still got Iggy, though, right? All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's just take this team. I I'm, I'm fine with the team that we got. We can win this entire thing this season. And it's low-key better than I, I thought. The lineup, John Wall, Beal, RJ, Gallinari, and Boogie. And then off the bench, we got Karis LeVert and a bunch of other great players like Joshua, Christopher, and stuff like that. We can win this thing. We can for real win this thing. It just depends on if 2K decides to hoe us or not. All right, come on, come on. Training camps, best one one on one for RJ. Does he go up again? No, he's all right. This time he stays the same. John Wall, I need you to get a jump shot, dog, for for real. And combo guard, we're gonna give that to you. You had a, you had a seventy eight at point guard. All right, which means that shooting guard he'd been like in the eighties already. All right, we're good. All right, who's in free agency that can help us? Oh, uh, Fultz is, but we want that bag. I ain't gonna give it to him. So, oh. All right, let's see, let's see, yeah, sign whoever you guys want to. All right, yeah, this year we can definitely win it, definitely. We are good at every single position now. 
buying. All right, I was about to say. All right, same lineup. The bench: Karis, Mitch Robinson, Harris. This guy. Oh right, yeah, Christopher's playing. We're not. We're not doing that. Christopher's gonna play. You're not gonna play, but Christopher definitely is. Honestly, I want these dudes playing more, to be honest. Let's just see what this team can do, y'all. Uh, this team, I see that faith in it now because they got so much more help. And at the end of this season, yo, Curry has like how many how many MVPs does he have now? Five. All right. Uh, all that's all that's good. We we won forty seven. We won forty seven games this season though. But anybody on any of the All NBA teams, we just gotta see what's up with this thing. No one for the second year in a row. John Wall, all defensive second team, good for him. No rookies on none of those, so I'm kind of sad about that for uh, Joshua Christopher. As far as the stats go, this thing will pop up. Letter points by Boogie. All right, so I guess it was just all around for the, for the most part. But, I mean, this team definitely was better. This year, we were the four seed again. We won more games, but we do take game one versus Philly. We take game two. All right, come on, y'all. Take the 3-1 lead. Do not let them tie it up. Of course they tie it up. Yo, Washington is pissing me off. We haven't made it past round one. Round one. Come on, y'all. Finally, we make it past round one to take on Cleveland. And they got Zion. All right, they take game one. We take game two. We take game three. Come on, y'all. Go up three, two. Come on. Bruh, I hate elimination games. We can beat them. Come on, game seven time. Come on, y'all. We can we can beat them, and if we beat them, we can beat Brooklyn. Now you guys are turning up. Thank you. Finally, we we get the dub, and now we're taking on Brooklyn. We take game one. They take game two. Come on, y'all. Go up 3-1. Let's go. Make the NBA Finals. And we're taking on the Phoenix Suns. Who the Suns got? They got Jaw, Booker, Warren, Favors, Aiden, Mikel Bridges, Scotty Lewis. All right. That's not, that's not bad. They take game one. Oh, my gosh. Really, y'all? I guess we only have a shot if I do it in Simcast. Come on, y'all. Do not go down 3-1. Do not go down 3-1. Clutch it out. There we go. Two-point victory. I like it. I like it. I like it. Take the 3-2 lead. Let's go. And can Washington actually win a championship? Why couldn't we do this before? Why we're we're up by thirty something, dude? Why could we not do this before? But it looks like the Wizards are finally about to win a championship. We almost took an L in round one and two, and now we're about to be champs. And then this game makes no sense. All right, come on. There's thirty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. No need to foul. Honestly, you guys already know that the game is over at this point, right? So I don't know why he's like attacking. Like, you guys are losing. <laughs> There's no real way around that you guys are losing. Yo, is Bradley Beal the finals MVP? Jab step, jab step. Take that fader. Do what you want, bro. <laughs> you got to still get blocked. 
<laughs> Look, that's game, y'all. That's game. We're up by 32. What are y'all doing? Look, we're champions. What a moment it is right now to see the team who played so well together enjoying this NBA championship moment. Well, guys, it is amazing to be here to witness what happened tonight. And seeing this team come together over the course of the season and on into the playoffs, what a joy. I mean, there is no better champion the league could have asked for. And a pleasure here at 2K Sports to be with you all season long. Good night, everyone. And in the end, the Washington Wizards are champions. We were able to give Boogie and John Wall a chip. Obviously, well, not really obvious, but DeMarcus Cousins was the Finals MVP. 16 points, 9 rebounds, nearly 2 blocks, 44% from, from the field. Uh, as far as the final roster was John Wall, Bradley Beal, DeMarcus Cousins, R.J. Barrett, Danilo Gallinari, Karis LeVert, Mitchell Robinson, Joe Harris. I'm not even going to try to say his name, but we drafted him, Joshua Christopher, Kuzminkis. Allen, I didn't even know that Crab was even on the team. Shelvin Mack didn't know that he was there e either. And Iggy, look, we brought Washington to championship. I, I never saw us really do doing that, to be honest. Like, those th those first two seasons, I was kind of on the wall. I was like, eh, this team ain't looking all that good. But we managed to, you know, eventually pull through, make some trades, and, you know, pick up the right players. But if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to go ahead and like it up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know who we should rebuild next in the comment section below. But other than that, I'm out. Peace, y'all.